Well, after more than three hours in council chambers and a nail-biter of a vote last night before the deadline, Brampton deciding to opt in to pot shops. Now joining Toronto, Burlington and a handful of others in the GTHA, Brampton Mayor Patrick Brown telling City News he supports the decision made by council. We need to stamp out the black market. Uh, the fact that in communities that have opted out, we have more dispensaries opening up, it should be alarming. Uh, you know, I'm, I've never used cannabis, uh, but if someone is, they should do it through a, a legal store where it's not uh, a dangerous product. Now, Brown did express concern about impaired driving and urged tough action against anyone convicted of driving while high. The earliest a cannabis store can open in Brampton, April the 1st. Aurora and Halton Hills also voting yes. The city of Vaughan has opted out. Well, new this morning, according to a Fraser Institute report, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has been PM for just two years with the highest level of per-person government spending in our history outside of war or recession. Now, the Institute claims per-person spending this year is just over $8,600. That's only about $70 shy of the all-time high, which was under the watch of former PM Harper. But that was back in 2009, in the middle of a global recession. Trudeau's spending in 2017 and 2018 are two of the costliest years, again, outside of war and recession. Well, advocates for the homeless are calling for Toronto to declare a state of emergency after the deaths of four people on our streets already this year. A group of advocates speaking at City Hall just before 9 o'clock this morning to say that we are facing a homelessness crisis and that housing is a human right. They're going to be demanding a coordinated emergency government response focusing on affordable housing, supportive and transitional housing, as well as mental health services. From our streets overnight, emergency crews responding to a snowplow fire in the city's east end. Two pickup snowplows catching fire around one this morning. This is near Shepherd and Brimley. Crews were able to put this one out pretty quickly. No injuries here and no word on what sparked it. Cold weather possibly a factor in a crash that sent a TTC bus careening off the road. This happened yesterday over the dinner hour at Lawrence East subway station near Lawrence and Kennedy. We're told the bus trying to exit the station when it slid off the road right into a fence. Ten people suffering minor injuries here in this crash. And to some uh, developing entertainment news now, singer Chris Brown has been detained by police in Paris after a woman filed a rape complaint. Police say Brown remains in custody while they continue to investigate this claim. Two other people also arrested and officials say one of them is Brown's bodyguard. There's been no comment released by his publicists at Sony Music. Brown has had legal troubles since pleading guilty to felony assault back in 2009 of his then-girlfriend Rihanna. The, he completed probation for that in 2015.